I have been extremely nervous about recording this, and I've been putting it off lately. I've really been putting this off, but I've been planning this video because it is time to say that I am back to working on content. I'm back on the content creation train, the uh, car of productivity, <laughs> back on my feet. I, I was contemplating whether or not to do this video. Why do I why do I need to do a life update? Why not just magically show up and be like, hey guys, I'm back. But no, I think it'd be good to go over this to talk about what I've been up to, what life has been like, and just, just some general things. Catch up with everyone. A lot has happened, and I think there's quite a few things to cover. So first of all, just just thank you. Thank you to everyone. To everyone who's been encouraging me through the past, when I was regularly uploading, everyone's encouragement while I was on my hiatus, and just all the people who have been there supporting me. It means the world to me. While I've been away, the channel has been growing. It has been getting a steady amount of views regularly, which is really surprising. Like, it is lower than normal, but like, for my views to be half as much of what they are when I'm uploading blows my mind away, <laughs> because half as much is still quite a lot. So just thank you. A massive, a massive thank you to everyone. You are all phenomenal people, and I, I can't say that enough. That actually leads me onto the next thing that I want to touch up on today, which is difficult. And I'm just going to preference that with it's a difficult topic, and I apologize if I don't communicate this very well, if it's a little bit vague or, I guess, confusing. But I'm going to try not to get into too much detail here. I want to be a bit concise. But I want to talk about, really, why I've been away from the channel. How come there's been this kind of hiatus? And... There's a lot of things that go into it. I think the biggest factor is the fact that I've just ended up getting really busy. And for me, this was actually working on finishing school because while I was away, I actually graduated and I'm now a high school graduate living at home, doing nothing with their life. Anyway, <laughs> um, it really came down to the fact that there was just a lot going on in life that meant Focusing on content creation was getting increasingly difficult, and it was also getting increasingly difficult to focus on school, and I decided I'm going to put this aside, and I'm just going to focus on school. If I have the time and I have the ability to kind of pick some stuff back up and start working on projects, I'd be more than happy to. And I was, I was able to for a bit. I think about the start of 2020, I was able to actually get some stuff done, and I was putting out content while I was in school, and then... I, I guess it's really hard for me to talk about because it's really wishy-washy. It's hard to explain, and a lot of it I don't understand, but I have had some pretty significant issues with mental health over the past few years. And I, I don't want to I don't want to bring down the mood. I don't want to concern anyone. This, these are all things that I'm working on. I've been actively working on. I'm really grateful for all the friends I have who've been supporting me and helping me out with these things. And I've also been in therapy for about four years now, and I've been I've been steadily working on myself, trying to better myself as a person. But there are just some things that always seem to come up that are increasing <laughs> increasingly difficult to to cope with at times, and that was making it really difficult for me to work on content creation. But my mental health has been something that I've been struggling with for quite some time now, and it's been difficult, the, the probably the most difficult the past couple of years, and that is 100% why I haven't been very active in the community, on YouTube, on Twitch. I've been trying to get back into everything. I've been steadily trying to post more on Twitter, keeping up on streams on Twitch, and now I've been steadily planning and working on some videos, but it is something that's it's going to be a work in progress. I can't make any promises about whether or not I'm going to get back to weekly uploads. Maybe maybe it'll be monthly uploads, and I am 100% okay with that because I'm going to work on a pace that I know works for me, but again, 
thank you guys so much for your understanding. It means the most to me. Now, I've rambled enough. <laughs> I've gone on about this enough. I don't want this to be too long of a video. And I also don't want to keep the mood down too much. But I want to say, while I've been away, while I've been taking some time away from content creation, I have been working on so many different avenues. <laughs> I've been experimenting, getting into some different interests. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to bring what I've learned onto the table and actually share with you guys. So the biggest thing... Where I've been and what I've been up to was school for a while, because most of you probably don't know this, but I was actually homeschooled for 14 years, and then around that time, I think around when I was 15, I started to take a few electives in a public school and then finished anything that was part of a core curriculum through homeschooling. And that, that had its benefits and also some difficulties, but when it came to the very last year, there were a lot of subjects I wanted to look into, I wanted to learn, I wanted to study, so I decided to convince, I guess, convince my mom into letting me go to school full-time, and that was an awesome experience. That was really an awesome experience. I got to meet a lot of people, a lot of really awesome people, and I, I learned quite a lot in those few months. Those six months? I don't know how long. <laughs> Nine months? I don't remember. Anyway, that was also the year that I graduated, so I was very busy. But while I was in school, I was taking engineering technologies and digital media. And that introduced me to some really neat programs that you could work on with music. And then later on, a friend of mine, Dante, introduced me to Beatbox and then Jumbox, which are a couple online programs where you can kind of sketch out music and melodies and that that got me interested and I ended up spending a lot of time kind of learning to write music and right now it's all an intuitive thing I don't know anything about music theory to be completely honest I have like a very basic understanding of it I've listened to a lot of music and I've actually played some instruments in the past but in terms of writing music, I am not knowledgeable <laughs> in that aspect, and a lot of it was just testing, but I've honestly made some things I'm quite proud of, and I'm planning to phase some of that stuff into what I do on YouTube and what I do for content. And these are actually a few, a few samples, if you guys are curious, of some things I've been working on. from music and school, I've also uh, spent an unhealthy amount of time on Minecraft, <laughs> but this is, it, it, honestly, I'd say really awesome experience because the group over at Terracore, we have a private Minecraft server that we've been messing around on and getting to goof off in, and was really a way for all of us to just kind of take a break, have fun, and not really worry about anything. It was just a nice a nice vacation from everything else whenever we needed it. In this server, I have done so much <laughs> so much building. Probably the most building I've ever done in Minecraft, and I've had so much fun doing it. I'm really happy with how these things have been coming out, and I've gotten to practice and test, and I've learned a lot in terms of putting stuff together in Minecraft, which goes on to really our next subject of moving forward with the channel and what I'm going to be doing in the future and some plans I have, which if you haven't guessed already, I am really excited to start working on some Minecraft content. If you haven't seen Chaos, one of Chaos's recent videos, he actually talked about how the group over at Terracore is going to be putting together a Minecraft series very similar to what we're doing in Terraria. I am so excited for this. I've been planning my base, planning some things, and I can't wait to start working on this. Apart from doing this Minecraft series, 
I'm also planning to do some one-off videos on Minecraft and some other things I've been really excited about because I've been having a lot of fun playing Minecraft and doing stuff like that and I think it would be a really solid addition to the channel. Now this isn't going to replace Terraria in any way because I'll let you know I have a stupid amount of ideas for things I want to do regarding Terraria. Though, uh, I don't think it's really worth talking about too much today because you guys are aware of what I'm doing in Terraria and it's not going to change too drastically. But I am going to continue with streaming. I want to start getting a regular stream schedule. It would be great if I could do at least one stream a week. Ideally, I'd want to do three streams a week, but that depends on how busy I am and what go and I guess what's going on. But if you didn't already know, I stream on Twitch. <laughs> I guess that's important to mention. I guess a lot of people don't know this because I don't talk about it a whole lot, but I've been streaming on Twitch for just about as long as I've been doing YouTube. A little bit less, but a around the same amount of time. It's really awesome getting to interact with everyone over there. I usually do a variety of things, whether it be Minecraft or typically a 2D platformer or something like that. And it's been a lot of fun. So if you do want to check that out, I will leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. Now, one thing that I think is really important to touch up on today and something that I've been wanting to talk about and I've been thinking about what I want to do regarding this and I did put a lot of thought into it is the topic of Terracore. Now as you all know <laughs> I kind of went on my hi hiatus around the same time we started Terracore which was not great and I did genuinely plan to get videos out as much as I could but like I said just some things that came up that was making it making it pretty difficult. That being said I am 100% still planning to upload Terracore videos. I know you guys have really been looking forward to them and have been asking to see them. So it is something that I want to do. This isn't something that I want to just <laughs> sweep under the carpet and forget about. But it's not realistic for me to jump back on episode one and work from there because that is hours and hours of footage I didn't get around to editing that is only going to discourage me from getting back into content creation and is only going to put a massive weight on my shoulder that I don't think is going to be worth it. If you guys want to see the stuff that we've been doing in Terracore, please, please check out everyone else's videos and their content on the series because they have so much good stuff there. You can catch some of, some of the great moments of Terracore because I've decided I'm going to be uploading the first video that I was working on. I'm going to finish editing that and get that out for everyone. That's just going to be like an introduction to Terracore. And then moving forward from there, I might have a bit of a highlight video of the series. And then I'm going to swiftly jump to the future and just say, this is where we're at. This is where we're moving to because I don't think it's worth going through all of that. And if you guys want to see most of the series, there are a lot of other people who've got some great perspectives that you'll be able to see most of what we've been up to. So I hope you guys can understand. I hope it's for the better and you enjoy what I am able to put together for that. Again, I really do appreciate everyone's understanding with all of this and my hiatus. Hiatus? Hiatus. Things have been interesting over the past few years. I'm really looking forward to getting into content creation. I've missed... I've really missed everyone. I've missed keeping up with people. I used to spend so much time just keeping up on things on Twitter, catching other people's streams, just doing what I could to be a part of the community. And it really, really bummed me out not being able to do that and was even more stressful because when it's a product of mental health, it kind of just adds insult to injury, which was really, really frustrating for a time. But that being said, I can't really make any promises, again, that I'm going to be actively posting content every week. I'm going to take it one day at a time and see how it goes, and I'm going to put my heart into it, and I really hope that everything goes well, and again, I do appreciate everyone's support. Now, before I head off, I just want to say, while I've been away, and while I've been working on getting back into content creation, I have actually set up a few things behind the scenes that I haven't 
really shared with everyone. So most recently, I have actually launched a Patreon. There aren't currently too many rewards. It's really a matter of if you want to help supporting the channel, there's just the option there for people who want to donate. Again, absolutely no one is obligated. I don't want anyone to feel obligated. I just want to put the option there for anyone who might be, I guess, wanting to or feel inclined to. And as well as this. And this is really important to me, and I have absolutely no obligation to share this with anyone, but my sister is an incredibly talented artist. She is absolutely amazing, and recently started her own Etsy shop. If you find this stuff interesting and you want to take a look at it, it would mean the world to me if you would check out her Etsy shop because she is just starting out with this. It's really difficult to get a business going and she has custom made everything on her shop that she then had made and it is really high quality. I have had some of it myself. The pins are wicked cool. So if you want to check that out, please, I would really appreciate it. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can see it if you want. So that, that's, that's everything. <laughs> I think I've been over everything I wanted to talk about. It feels incredibly good to have this recording done because this is just a great step in the right direction of getting back into content creation, which I've been looking forward to. And I can't wait. I can't wait. So I will see you guys next time I get a video together and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day and a great holiday season because we are getting into winter and it is getting cold and I hope everyone is just doing fantastic. So I guess that's that's all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye.